Today's settlement of $787,500,000 represents vindication and accountability. Lies have consequences. Yesterday, Dominion and Fox News agreed to settle their $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit for $787.5 million. And I've got to say that I feel really disappointed by the outcome here. I don't want to say that all of this has amounted to nothing, but it really feels as if there could have been more accountability for Fox News because what they're forced to pay isn't sufficient, I think, to deter future bad behavior of them. And my ultimate goal, and this was wishful thinking that I didn't expect to materialize, would be that this lawsuit would uh, bankrupt them. But I mean, my realistic goal, however, was more humiliation if Fox News and Dominion went to trial, but they did not. Now, for those of you who haven't really been following the case, here's some very basic details courtesy of the Washington Post. At issue in the case were false claims that Fox aired about Dominion related to former President Donald Trump's false accusations about the 2020 election being stolen. Dominion had to prove not only that the claims weren't true, which it did, but that Fox's actions met the legal standard of actual malice, meaning that it knew better or that that it showed a reckless disregard for the truth. And they arguably did prove that. You have actual text messages and exchanges between on-air hosts like Tucker Carlson, Laura Ingram, and that certainly was a humiliating element of this entire kerfuffle. But it still feels as if Dominion should not have settled. And by settling, they gave Fox News a dub. And my feelings here were summarized perfectly by David Dole on Twitter, who said they could have had more money while bringing down Fox News along with it. Yeah, exactly. So all they had to do was wait a little bit longer, go to trial, force Fox News to defend themselves, and they probably would have won. Even the judge said that it was crystal clear that Fox News aired incorrect information. So all they had to do was prove malice in their lawsuit. And that, that would have been it. You could, you could have had them. You had them in the crosshairs, Dominion, and you, you let go. So the overall impact on Fox News is going to be minimal. And again, I think that this is a huge relief for Fox News. I think that Rupert Murdoch and the executives there are breathing a lot easier now because Dominion agreed to settle. And it feels like a capitulation. And ultimately, I think this is a win for Fox News. And Robert Reich echoed that same sentiment in an op-ed for Common Dreams, where he argues the Fox Corporation has an estimated value of around $17 billion dollars. The settlement amounts to a cost of doing business for Fox. Exactly. The settlement also means that Fox's major figures, including Rupert Murdoch, the chairman of Fox Corporation and Fox hosts, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, and Maria Bartiromo, won't have to testify. Dominion may have protected its trademark, but it hasn't protected American democracy. Nothing about the lawsuit or its settlement has been aired on Fox News. Fox viewers continue to be in the dark about all of it. Trump's big lie, Fox's amplification, of the big lie, the lawsuit, and the emails, and pretrial testimony showing that Fox News and its hosts knew it was all a big lie. Yeah, so all of that goes out the window now because Dominion chose to make this business decision and settle. It's not just that I wanted this to cost Fox News money. It needed to cost them legitimacy. And to the extent that it has, at this point, I think that the people who have seen the text messages that Tucker Carlson sent during the 2020 election, those are people who are already predisposed to not like Fox News. But this needed to be big, big enough so that way Fox News viewers who are brainwashed by this corporation won't be able to miss it. But because of this... Fox News can kind of do what they wanted to do and sweep this under the rug and continue to lie because now the cost is uh, less than a billion dollars. Not going to be enough to bankrupt them. It's certainly painful for them, I'm sure, and the humiliation that they have suffered currently certainly isn't great for them, but it isn't merely enough. Like, this is not a proportionate level of accountability considering how terrible their lies were. It led to an insurrection, arguably. They were part of that. They were culpable for the January 6th insurrection. Trump was the most culpable, in my opinion, but Fox News stoked the flames. Put us on the brink of a civil war, and tensions are still very high, 
and all they had to do was uh, settle. They don't have to go to trial, defend themselves publicly, nothing. So that, it just feels so frustrating to me because Dominion, you had a chance and you fucking fumbled. But there is still hope because as HuffPost explains, Fox is still facing a separate but related defamation suit from Smartmatic USA Corp. The voting machine company has sued for $2.7 billion over similar claims to those of Dominion. In other words, there still is a chance. But am I a lot less optimistic now, given the way that the Dominion lawsuit played out? Yes. And also, it's still hard to not think about what could have been if Fox News lost and had to pay $1.6 billion. On top of that, $2.7 billion. We're talking about billions of dollars, which could possibly bankrupt the company. It's unlikely, but still, the fact that there was a possibility there was important. And I think that these sensationalist headlines about how this would definitely bring down Fox News, that was a bit of a stretch. It was always a stretch. But with that being said, I think that it's important that we have at least a minimal level of accountability in this culture when massive institutions spread lies that are hurtful to democracy. And we just didn't get that here. Now, for those hoping that Rupert Murdoch would be forced to shutter Fox News and hosts like Tucker Carlson would be humiliated permanently and delegitimized, one thing that I need people to understand is even if the best case scenario were to come to fruition with regard to both of these lawsuits, right? Dominion won. Smartmatic one, understand that even if Fox News went away like that, we live in a system where profits are the main priority. And Fox News proved that spreading right wing propaganda is uh, very, very lucrative. So even if Fox News went the way of the dodo, there would be a new news outlet that would emerge to be as equally popular as Fox News. I am absolutely confident about that. So regardless if Fox News exists or not, we will have to deal with the problem of right-wing media in this country in perpetuity unless we have actual reform, unless we strengthen democracy and teach people media literacy. But even if Fox News were to go away, we still have corporate media in general, which is a problem. So the media problem, it doesn't just go away with Fox News. So certainly Fox News is like the biggest culprit when it comes to misinformation, but we still don't have objective non-corporate sources in this country that are large, right? We have independent media, we have uh, alternative news sources, but certainly the biggest, most sweeping institutions in this country are the ones where most Americans get their news from. I mean, sure, more people get their news from the internet, but they're not just automatically going to YouTube or to democracy now. They're watching CNN and Fox News online. So just changing the method of consumption doesn't necessarily change the news that they're getting. So ultimately, we have a bigger battle at our hands, and that is trying to decommodify news and make sure that people are getting non-corporate, non-biased, objective information. And Fox News is a huge part of the problem, but it goes deeper than Fox News. And as a society, we have to figure out how to deal with that, if we even can at this point, which is doubtful in my opinion. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching, so I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.